This probably really is not the time to be vlogging, but I'm going to vlog it anyway because I know that this is something that is pretty significant and I don't, nothing like this has ever happened before in my life and I'd hope that nothing like this in my life is ever going to happen again. But it is happening, so it is Monday the 23rd of March, it's 3.05pm. This is the start of my fourth week at university and we're getting kicked out. I can't state explicitly what the situation is because I'll get in trouble from YouTube. But you guys know what's going on in the world at the moment and New Zealand has just declared like a level three. So all non-essential businesses are closing, which means we're left with supermarkets, pharmacies and doctors. In 48 hours we're going to a level four, which means that everyone basically is in self-isolation for four weeks. So I have to get myself home with all my stuff before Wednesday. I have no idea what to do because yeah, I'm, I'm not worried, but I'm just, I just don't know what to do. But I want to bring you guys along this journey with me because I feel like if it's self-isolation for four weeks, you guys are all going to be at home too. So we can go through this all together. It was my birthday yesterday. People have told me when you turn 18, things get a little bit messed up. Didn't realise that they were going to get this messed up. But here we are, so I'm moving home. Okay guys, Rachel's moving out. She's going home to Tauranga. This is going to be a whole video. Moving out series. <laughs> But look at the car park. This was like full, like bye. Drive safe. Okay, so I've been fired up until now, but um, oh my gosh, I'm a mess. Rachel, Morgan, Jess, Kate, Taya, everyone's gone, like gone home or going home. I've been talking to Mum, and I'm going home tomorrow, and taking like basically what can fit in my car. Yeah, this is weird as. I've been talking to Owen, but he's at work. I'm going to his place for dinner tonight, but I think I might stay there, because after today, we're not going to see each other for four weeks. <laughs> Day two of this situation. I'm back at my uni room just to pack up all my stuff. Every single item of belonging that I have here, because mum said that we don't know if this four week isolation period is going to extend or what's going to happen. I don't even know if I'm coming back here at this stage. I'm just going to take everything and if I move back in, I move back in and I bring everything back. But at this stage, I'm moving out. Just said goodbye to my RA, that was really sad. So shout out to you Liam, you're the best. I know you'd like to hear that because I know all our other RAs are getting stuck. But um, Liam's the best RA, sorry about it. But yeah, it's like I have to take all this down. This feels so weird. camera died so vlogging on my phone but this probably looks quite similar to the day that I moved in because all my stuff is now in my car apart from my duvet in it and my mattress topper. I have to double check it. here just before that and pick up these because his work's like just down the road but I'm going to leave a few of the things at Owen's place because obviously he lives in Hamilton and I'm not going home until like the end of like level three because I want to spend as much time with him as possible since I'm not going to see him for four weeks. Yeah I will be back here shortly. I'm back in my room now with Owen. I just picked him up from work but I'm again vlogging my phone because I don't know where my charger is. It's somewhere packed in my car. It it's might in be that it. box at the front, I think. What box? Shoe box. With all your other charges. No, I'm, I changed that. That's got books in it now. But don't have charges in it this morning. Oh, okay. That's in the box in the front of my car. So yeah, we're just going to take the rest of my stuff and then go. This is sad. Yeah, Emma couldn't crack Hamilton. What do you mean? <laughs> Hamilton was a bit much. No, I love Hamilton. I don't want to go home. You're like, the world's too much right now. Yeah. Oh, maybe I should just get the cleaner to come in and clean my room from scratch. Probably make sure there's nothing up here, right? Wait, are you vlogging? Yeah, that's why I'm recording this. Should I shut my curtains? Yeah, shut them. Okay, I'm going to vlog. Oh, you can't see us now. Okay, we're going to go now. Time to drive home. It is three o'clock and I just made it home. Back in my room that you guys know and love. So 
gosh, bring all my stuff up here. This is such a weird feeling. This is gonna be like the toughest four weeks. So as you can see, I am back home now. The last time I filmed was me when I got home yesterday with all my stuff. It took me literally four hours to unpack my stuff, like getting the stuff from my car into like where it belonged in my room. So my room at the moment is very like, got like random stuff just like everywhere. It's not really, well, it's organized, but it's just weird because it's like me combining like my two rooms into one. It is Thursday and it's just gone eight o'clock. And so we're in our first day of isolation or lockdown, whatever you want to call it. First day of level four, let's just, yeah, keep it at that. So uni is still continuing as normal for me. So I can't really remember what I recorded over the past few days and I feel like it probably wouldn't make sense just because I was very overwhelmed. So to sum it all up, because I don't know what made sense and what didn't, one day we found out at like, I think it was like two o'clock we found out that New Zealand was going into lockdown in 48 hours so basically they said to us take what you can and go home I was like okay I'll stay at uni for one night and then go home the next day and I was like no that's so stupid why am I doing this I literally am not going to see Owen for four weeks so I messaged Owen I'm like I'm coming to stay at your place tonight and I'm going to go home tomorrow so I started packing up my stuff and then he came and got me after work and we put the rest of my stuff in my car and then we both drove to his place and I stayed the night there and then I woke up the next morning and I was like isolation doesn't start until Wednesday at midnight so and at this stage it was Tuesday morning I was like why am I going home today when I could stay an extra night when I'm not gonna see you for another four weeks so I stayed another night no wait hold up back step woke up Tuesday morning and my parents had been at Fongamata so they came back via Hamilton and took like basically the stuff out of my car into their car and drove home. So I dropped Owen off at work and went back to my uni room and packed up the rest of my stuff and put that in my car and went back to Owen's place and did a bit of uni stuff and then went back and picked him up from work and whatever. Stayed the night at his place Tuesday night and then Wednesday I came home, I left Hamilton at like 1.30 and came home, which was yesterday. And yeah, now I'm home, we're in lockdown for four weeks. I'm going to be optimistic and say that it is going to be four weeks. Over this four weeks, uni is literally just continuing as normal. I know that Canterbury, pretty sure someone I was talking to said Victoria as well. And Massey and AUT have all gone like on holiday at the moment. So we have like a week off, which they told us we had a week off. We don't actually, because I had lectures to watch today. I have lectures to watch tomorrow. I have reading, which I'm supposed to be doing, but I'm procrastinating. So I'm hopeful that this four weeks is just going to be four weeks. As someone who has compromised immunity, I cannot afford to be going out and risking my health because if I get it like who knows, would I recover? I don't know. I'd like to think so, but I don't want to risk it. I'm stuck pretty much in these four walls until this virus is gone. My parents are both essential workers because they're both pharmacists, so they're not working every day, but they're on call. So if they get called in and they're dealing with people, like, I don't know. But all I ask of you guys is that you stay inside and you follow what authorities are telling us. They're telling us this so we can get this process over and done with quick fast, as fast as possible. And if you think about it, the virus takes two weeks to show, like you get it and it takes two weeks for you to show those symptoms. So if you're in your bubble and you've got it now, everyone in your bubble is going to have it and then it'll be another two weeks or so for you to recover like max is what, kind of what they're saying. So if everyone does what they're told for these four weeks and stays in their bubble and keeps their bubble as confined as possible and we're not passing the virus around, then, you know, we could actually get this over and done with nice and fast. And like, I don't want to be stuck in these four walls, okay? It is day one and I miss Owen like crazy. I am, like, this sucks. And I know that you guys know it sucks too, that this is never going to be easy for anyone. The more we follow the rules, the more we stay at home, the faster we're going to get through this. It's just so crazy because this is not how I thought my first week of being 18 was going to go. And I, yeah. It sucks. And this is not how I thought my first year of uni would go either. Like, I know that there's no ideal situation for this. Everyone's going through something right now, whether it's financial loss, not working, um, they can't study properly, their last year of high school's been interrupted, I know lots of people had school balls cancelled. But you know what, if it's prioritising our health, uh, it's it's worth the self-sacrifice for us to get through this. And I know obviously Jacinda Ardern isn't going to watch this, but like, can we just take a moment to appreciate her as a Prime Minister? Like, how fortunate are we to have a Prime Minister who seriously has her head screwed on the right way. Name another Prime Minister that within 12 months has had to deal with a mosque shooting, the volcano erupting off the east coast, and now a global pandemic. While she's trying to raise a toddler, like, I just, she is a superhero. Like, someone make her a cape, please. I can't even say 
what the problem is because I will get demonetized. That is my spiel about what's going on at the moment. But please, if you're thinking that you're going to go outside, please don't. If you're thinking you're going to go and visit a friend and you think that it's okay because you feel like you don't have coronavirus, please. Oh, I can't even, like, this is so hard to tiptoe on that issue because I can't say what it is. But, like, if you think that you're going to go and visit someone because you think that it's okay and they're not within your bubble, please don't. Please don't. If you can hold off doing it for four weeks, that's all anyone is asking, then this will speed up the process for everybody and we can get back to normal as soon as possible. But if people are going to carry on going outside, and like not going outside, you can go outside, you just can't obviously be within close proximity of people. But you can go outside, but please, please, please don't go and visit people that are not in your bubble. <sighs> and if you, yeah, I just, oh... Yeah, this is literally, like, I still haven't got my head around the fact that this is my life for four weeks. This is, yeah. Alright, well, I'm just talking now for the sake of it, so I'm gonna wrap up this video here. I'm hoping to pump out two videos per week for you guys during this period because I know that it's not easy being stuck inside, essentially. If I can do my part to make this process easier for you guys, then I will do that. But yes, yeah, it's, it's gonna be hard because I'm still literally working through my uni as per normal, except online, and my Wi-Fi at home is so bad. It literally took me four hours today to watch an hour and a half lecture because it kept on buffering. So this is gonna be a very long four weeks, and I cannot wait for life to get back to normal, as you guys would understand and will be in the same boat. But yeah, stay safe, guys follow what authorities are saying please just for the sake of all of us for all of new zealand for all of the world in fact just stay inside for these four weeks please apart from that maximum smile and i'll see you in my next video